and today I'll be showing you how to use uh, Eclipse as your IDE for Apache Spark programming. Uh, in this video I'll be demonstrating uh, how to set up a new project and uh, just write a simple Scala uh, MapReduce uh, function. So, so I have um, the latest Eclipse installed Mars 2. So let me just close some of the old files I have here. Okay. Let's um Let's start a new project. So we'll go to new and uh, we'll just say, so the first thing to note is that I'm in the Scala context. So I have the Scala IDE plugin installed for um, for uh, Eclipse. Make sure you have that installed. You can get that at the uh, marketplace. If you go into the marketplace and you search for Scala IDE, you should be able to download and install that. So this is the Scala IDE that I have installed um, that you would want if you want to do this. Okay, so let's start with the new, the new project and uh, we'll just call that project um, I have Spark test, and uh, we want to keep these default settings for now. And we'll go to the next, and just everything here, just leave it as it is, and finish. So this is our project. So first thing I like to usually do is create a, a package, and uh, in my case, um, I'll put it under dot data x and then I usually have a play package where I'm playing around with any new stuff and let's just say spark and let's finish that cool now the next thing we want to do is create a new uh, uh, scala object oh, but before we do that let's um, let's add our dependency or on um, um, on Spark, so we want our build path. And we want to configure our build path, and here we want to just go to say add external jars. Uh, now, if you've installed Apache uh, Spark using Brew, then you would be able to get to the um, location of all the, the jar files that you need for Apache in this in this folder. So there's a neat little trick for uh, uh, navigating if you don't know to a particular path inside your uh, finder, which is hold down Command Shift and and G. It will take you it will take you to this place, and then you can. It bring up this dialog and you can paste in any path here and you can go there. So uh, the, the package we want is this assembly Hadoop jar. So we open that and we add that to our dependencies. We just apply and okay we're good. Cool. So now we can start writing some code. So first thing we'll do is create a, a Scala object. Um, Let's just say uh, counter. And, and so for, we start out with creating a main function. And um, the first thing normally you do with Spark is to create a, a configuration. So let's say our configuration is.
So I'm going to create a new configuration and I'm going to set, let's see, the app name to be pointer. And we want to give it the master. We want to let it know what kind of say, cluster we're running. Um, and here we're just going to be running on a local, on our local cores. So that should be a star to say use all cores. And so with that done, we next we want to create a Spark context. And we simply pass it to configuration. Great. So um, now let's um, get our test um, text file. So let's um, say we want to load up a text file. And uh, call it so. Start, give Spark text file context and and uh, read a text file from the path. Um, so let's just create a file called and uh, we can now add a new file here just for some sample data. Let's call it um, cities. TXT is what we called it, and we can just put in some cities here. Oh, Melbourne, you know, Hamburg, um, and Leipzig. Okay, and um, let's put in some repeats. So we get some All right, so that's our that's our data. and uh, we're going to use that to do some simple example. So we have our uh, text file. Now we can do a flat map on it on each line. And uh, we want to split that line um, by our space. And then we take the results of that and uh, map each of those split words uh, to a tuple with uh, the word and the number. So once that's done, we want to reduce it. So we want to um, reduce by key. So let's see some of these columns we're adding. Okay, we're we're just telling us that we're using more than. Uh, let me finish this and then we can fix that error as well. Uh, reduce by a key and we can just um, add each, each um, for each key add the, the value. Then we want to just save that as a text file.
Let's call it cities.output.text. All right. So how do we address this um, little issue we're having here? With um, more than one Scala library found in your build path. So if we go to um, our project here, and we can see here that it's referencing one Scala library here. So we can actually um, remove that because the um, ID already provides us with one. So I'll just um, remove that and apply. Okay, now the error has changed that the Scala library found in the library path is prior to the one provided by the IDE. So we can actually now go um, again into, actually we can just go here and it will tell us how to quick fix it. So we say yes, do this, and it will take us here to the Scala compiler location we can switch to the lower version so that it's happy. Okay, great, that error is gone. All right, our code is done. Let's try and run it. So it looks like it completed successfully. And uh, if we refresh, here's our output. And you can see the output with the uh, results. Voila. Um, I should mention that um, before running, starting, we need to make sure that um, Scala is running. Uh, sorry, the Spark is running, and you do that by calling the start and stop all um, command. So if I had stopped all, and now no, no Spark is not running, if I try to run this, I should get an error. Yeah, there we go. So make sure make sure your, your spark is running before. And now I won't work because we have this we have this directory here. We need to remove it. It's kind of overwrite it. And delete. And now we run. And everything is good. I hope you found that useful. And once again, you can see the results. They're out here. Until next time.